You ready for this? Yep. To the North, Karna versus Yellow Rello. Yellow Rello having a great showing in doubles. Uh, coming up a little bit short, but that Yoshi, man, terrifying. It's, it's, it's fun to watch. It is. It's very fun to watch, especially the aggression. Um, it's a ton of fun to see him being able to go off stage, not being afraid to pull the trigger. Lots of folks would say Yellow Rello, second best Yoshi in the state. Second but only to the wall. Uh, yeah, that, that's, the, that's the problem. Second best Yoshi going against someone who has plenty of practice against the best Yoshi in the state. And uh, I think, according to Zero, the best Yoshi in the world. Yeah. Um, the wall, of course, being a Houstonite, gives Karna plenty of time to practice the matchup. Uh, so that, this is going to make it so Yellow Rello, uh, maybe some of these tricks that we saw him pull off in doubles won't be as effective. So far, though, starting off pretty close. I mean, only a couple of percent really separating the two. And with the nature of Sheik is she is going to lose some of that damage output potency as these percents start to climb. Well, it's it's more of the fact that your this character tacks on damage quickly and easily. Whether it's the Tinder combos, the multiple strings of uh, swiping left or swiping right, whether it's uh, the F tilts and the inherent mix up that comes with the character of DI out versus DI in. Um, the fact is is that the character builds percentage rapidly, and the pro only problem is that like you're seeing the ability to combo into a finisher, like a bouncing fish, like the uh, a B, anything like that. But the sweet percentage that we're so used to seeing from down throw into, into up B uh, for that mix up or the up airs even, um, that has been changed significantly. So it's a lot harder to combo into it and the window for to do that um, is a lot smaller now. Jam, ugh. That one overextension from Yellow Rello. He was hoping to go for the one-two punch. Karna putting up the shield very wisely, getting the stock afterwards. And now it's a low enough percent where he can start putting on a lot of extra damage going forward. Nice up smash. Great anti-air call out, really. Yeah, dude. I mean, if you guess tournament winner, that's such a strong move for Yoshi. Because it cover you see that arc that it covers in front of him is so phenomenal. It looks like it, it would have covered a normal getup as well. Yeah, correct. Um, the problem, is, the only issue is that if he does normal getup, there's only a two-frame window that it actually hits, which is what's so tricky about punishing neutral getup, and that's why it's such a strong option. He's I, still living. I, 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 I was still so terrified. Regardless, you were so cool, common collected there. I was not. Yeah, dude. But I've that, seen that position a fair amount because I played Yoshi for at least a good month or two. Okay, that's what makes Sheik so scary. On this stage in particular, it's just her ability to effortlessly carry someone towards one of those side blast zones. Mm. Yeah, man. Especially with those, with that was sick. He did sour spot uh, nair followed up by uh, down B. That was a really good idea, actually. Because the problem often is is that with Sheik is that you hit them too hard and they push themselves too far away, so you don't get the follow up. If you manage to get sour spots. A lot better results, but their percentages need to be higher as a, uh, as a result. I believe that this is... Okay. I was going to touch on how I wanted to see how Karna was going to choose to close out the stocks, but he's totally okay to catch landings and commit to his smash attacks if he knows that they're going to work. Ilarello wanted to be very tricky with his landing. Sure. I, I believe that he B-reversed, uh, changing up his momentum there. And... Uh, all Karn had to do was just sit and wait. He's thinking to himself, you know, I've seen these tricks before. I've seen these situations before. I know what to do here. And let me show you what the applications of that exactly are. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Karna definitely has a lock on this. You're absolutely right. Historically, I mean, it's him in the wall. We can even go back to uh, Smash United's uh, last Battlegrounds. event. Yeah, Battlegrounds. Where, these two, where those two, the wall and Karna, were in grand finals. And uh, Karna... Managed to perform pretty well. Yeah, he did. I mean, he got second place there. Uh, the wall coming out on top in first place. But I mean, that, was, that was like the game five, right? It was game five. It was last decision on Crazy. game five. And the clock was actually pushing for a result. Let's see how he's going to space here. Look at the pressure. Nair on shield immediately followed up by jabs. Because he went for the one, two. He could have canceled into F tilt from there if he had guessed that Yellow Rella was going to pull the trigger and try to jump out of shield or try to go for grab. Ooh, no ground tech from Karna. Popping him right back up so Yellow Rella can scoop him up with the up air. He's able to take the first stock. That's really nice. In that last game, we saw Karna come out with the first stock and really never lose momentum afterwards. Now, it's Yellow Rella with firm control of this game. Yeah, absolutely. 
Look for the anti-air attempt here. He might just go for raw bouncing fish. Wow, the shield. shield. You uh, actually want to make sure you're angling the shield upwards to avoid getting shield stabbed. Um, the dare will drop down on top of you, and if your head's poking out, it'll hit, and then the rest will just confirm afterwards. So you have to be very careful about it. The problem is, is that if you angle it uh, high and it's there for too long, you might get it rubbed out. Boiled egg here. Look at how dark that guy's getting. Ooh, Going for risky. that, was, yeah, very risky. I mean, I appreciate the effort, and you can do that. Um, you just need to be really on point with it. Yeah, it, it, honestly, I, th I think he might have been able to get away with it if it wasn't for uh, his spacing. It just seems Correct. like he was a, a couple of pixels short. He was just offset to the right, which, I mean, especially on this, the, the hitbox goes directly above her. You got to be very cautious. Threw the needles a bit early. I guess he imagined he fast fall. Down tilt. No, near it back. That was excellent. But even now, Yellow Rello is still keeping it relevant. Having this much rage is actually really dangerous now for Karna. Does hit surprisingly hard. Yoshi can hit very hard. Um, but he's going to have to land on the stage here. He's going to want to protect his approach with the egg. Uh, so that way he has Karna at least avoiding it, giving up space, or being in shield stun. That's going to kill him. I'll do it. Yeah, Yellow Rello. Going, I, I think he he took a bit of a gamble at trying to extend uh, that sequence after the jabs, honestly. That was excellent use of up tilt into fair. I'm sorry, up tilt, uh, F tilt fair. The thing that's so interesting about up tilt is that the second, the, the punishable window is between the first and second hit, not after the second hit. You would imagine that from the foot coming up to down, it would have been a bit more punishable. Unfortunately, um, the second hit puts him in enough shields on forward that hurts you get away with uh, punishing. Forward throw from Karna. Oh, going for an insane mana tree that early. Oh, I thought he was going to go for drop down there. It would have covered more off, uh, more space. He's managing to bring this back. This is only less than 20% separating the two. Yeah. Now this is becoming all about stage control. Holding center stage, guessing when someone wants to press a button, and then having counter hits. Gotta take the next hit. Hello, Rello. But now this is where the problem with Sheik comes in. There that was so clean. He saved his jump there. He did. And just used it as like a super sneaky burst mm -hmm. movement option. Mm -hmm. Does an air dodge as he's carrying his momentum upwards. Mm -hmm. And right as he gets out of it, does the upper to close. Now, that percentage is exactly why Sheik has a problem now. Because previously it was at that percentage, bruh, down throw, I'm going to get you up there. Are you gonna guess I'm gonna do up air? No, here comes the vanish, right? And that's the mix up. But now it's a lot harder. So what we often see Sheiks have to do is make hard reads in the bouncing fish now, or they have to make hard reads on up smash now, or hard reads on down smash. Um, it's just overall a lot trickier for Sheiks to confirm in the kills. But for smart players, uh, they can figure out some kill confirms that work out relatively well. There's some ways that I think you can uh, forward throw into the down, uh, down B as well. Game three between Karna and Yellowello. And I mean, this would be a really big win for Yellowello, thinking about it. Uh, Karna, of course, uh, like we said, whenever he was in Dallas, was the number one player. Uh, and while he's not the best player in Houston, he is a heavy favorite to take this entire tournament. Absolutely. There's something to learn from this guy. Every time I watch this guy play, I learn something new. I'm just really appreciating his spacing on the F tilts. Even whenever Yellow Rello will charge a smash deck, he will still make sure that he's max range whenever he actually connects with the F tilt. You saw the bait the distance. with the short hop earlier? That was sick. So he put on a ton of pressure, used a lot of aerials, and then just said, yeah, let me pump that break. And as he pumps the brakes, man, it was really sick. The biggest thing that Karna needs to do is close these stocks out quickly. In that last game, that first stock was ended at 180%. Here, 60% lower at least. Back with initiative. Back with tempo. Yellow though. Not out of it quite yet. And, and nice. Karna's trying to change things up. He usually would like run in do something like an F tilt. That time he just ran up and shielded 
knowing that Yellow Rello is going to be looking for a jab into an up smash. Mm. Perfect time to just charge needles. <laughs> if they refuse to come to you, just charge needles. That's a big threat on its own. It's, it's, it's you basically forcing your opponent to approach. Yoshi does have the eggs, of course. Uh, their, own, their own projectile, but needles, because of how fast they come out, can be really, really irksome to deal with. And the amount of percentage that they can get off. A fully charged needle gets ridiculous amounts. Actually, that's more melee, now that I think about it. It's less here. Mm. You get melee, more knockback in this game. Yes, they do do more knockback in this game. In melee, it's like 20% that they give you, roughly. Basically, like a smash attack. Exactly. In this game, I think it's a lot less. I think it's like 10. Something like that. It's still good. It, it's still good. It's much more reasonable, that's for sure. Mm. Footsies now. Yes. That was an excellent roll. Are you getting flashbacks of Battlefield yet? I'm oh, sorry, Battlegrounds yet? Yes, actually. Well, that's the other side of that coin, I suppose. Karna coming out on top, 2-1 over Yellow Rello. For a second, I was I was worried. And then Karna just turned it up. Uh, he had really smart defensive choices mm -hmm. early on after he took the stock, mm -hmm. which prevented Yellow Rello from getting back on the board as quickly as he really could. You're right. I mean, he did stop his tempo. He said, you know what? We're going to play this game on my terms. I already have tempo. I already have percentage lead. You're going to have to come to me eventually. And uh, it was just a matter of him finding that confirm. It's it's funny now to think that uh, Sheik has Marthritis. 